that that will be we will be keeping a very very close eye on the seven separate constituencies uh, that Labour hold here but let's try and get some reaction uh, from the SNP themselves we can uh, speak to Stuart Hosey deputy leader of the SNP and uh, prospective MP uh, for Dundee East uh, good evening to you Mr Hosey let me just read you something that Nicholas Sturgeon has said I'd treat the exit poll with huge caution caution I'm hoping for a good night but I think 58 seats is unlikely are you going to disagree with your leader I think Nicola's absolutely right. I mean, there are other polls out today which still show Labour and the Tories effectively neck and neck, 33, 34% each. So, however interesting these uh, exit polls are, and of course they're interesting for us, uh, I would uh, treat this with a huge pinch of salt until we some, see some real results being delivered. OK, so what would be a good night for the SNP? What would be uh, a seat share of the 59 here north of the border uh, that would mean you'd done a good job and that, that Labour essentially hadn't? Well, uh, we have six seats, so we had six seats in the last Parliament. A record total ever was 11, so in one sense 12 would be a good result. But uh, we've set only one target in this election, and that was to win the election in Scotland in terms of seats and votes. So uh, we certainly hope and we've run a good positive campaign. We'll be able to meet that goal to win the election in Scotland, but uh, I think it would be very foolish to put a, a number on based on a, an exit poll like that. Uh, Mr Hosey, I mean, how did Scotland get to this point? I mean, let's look at the Dundee where you are. Dundee East, you've got a majority of around about 2,000. Everyone is expecting, everyone is expecting you to build on that. Uh, Dundee West looks to be a relatively safe Labour seat, but uh, presumably you'd think uh, that will be going uh, yellow in just a few hours' time. I mean, what, how has Scotland got to this point where essentially the SNP are looking very likely uh, to be taking seats in places they never have dreamed of in the past? Well, I think there's a combination of things. The Scottish Government, since 2007, the SNP Government, has been effective and credible. Nicola Sturgeon is incredibly popular. I think the Labour Party damaged themselves irreparably by getting into bed with the Tories at the referendum. And, of course, in this campaign, our message of more power for Scotland and ending austerity across the UK has been incredibly well received in Scotland and, indeed, elsewhere on the islands. Well, we'll see those results coming through over the next couple of hours. Stuart Hosey for now, thanks very much.